on va euh, tout de suite appeler euh, Philippe. And uh, we'll call on Philippe Collin immediately, who will first tell us, uh, before he gives us a demonstration, he will use words to tell you about how a Frogan's site can be designed. Philip, over to you. Perhaps you could introduce yourself and tell us what is your role, your function within OP3FT, and then uh, go on, move on with what everybody is very eager to hear about. Good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Philippe Carlin. I'm in charge of um, innovation fostering um, at OP3FT, which uh, is a big word for um, the stimulation of the ecosystem and help our stakeholders to come with uh, tools, sites, solutions, businesses, uh, companies, um, the whole thing uh, around the Frogans technology. Today, I'm going to show you um, first how to, or what is a, a Frogan site, because we talk about Frogan's site here and there. We haven't seen them yet. So I'm going to tell you what is a site, and then I'm going to show you um, a, a live demo. You see those uh, one, two, three, four, uh, there are four machines here and two mobile phones that um, will show you f how Frogan sites can be navigated, how can be, they can be displayed on screen, and how they behave um, uh, you know, between each other. So uh, without further ado, let's switch to the, uh, uh, the slides. All right. Okay. So one thing that uh, one has to understand when it comes to Fergan's site is that the sites are written in a language. And that language is called FSDL. I only have a few technical items I and acronyms in this presentation. This one is important because it's the language in which the sites are uh, described. And for those who are familiar with XML, this is an example of an XML uh, piece of code. It's very easy to read, very easy to understand, um, and it describes everything in a Frogan site. It describes the content of the site, and it describes uh, also the structure of the site. So it's basically, if you're familiar with XML, you are already familiar with FSDL. Okay. Um, no need to remind you, as always with OP3FT, this is an open standard and is downloadable from OP3FT free of charge. So um, tomorrow you can start writing, writing uh, frog insights. Or even today. Or even tonight. And maybe someone is already starting here. But to, to access the sites, Philippe, we, we need to type in some kind of address, presumably. That's, that's the second pillar of um, for against technology is, and we've talked about that for uh, quite a bit, especially previously in, in Japanese, you need an address to access a site, and that's called a Frogrants address, of course. We've seen already, but I remind the people who have uh, just arrived maybe on, online, that that address, I mean, the Frogrants addresses can be written in every single writing system on the planet. So uh, here, uh, of course, Latin, network name, star or asterisk site name, it's just that. No HTTP, no slash slash, no column, no nothing. No dot com, of course. Um, but also in other uh, writing system, Ch Chinese, Cyrillic, Arabic, Hebrew, and others. Now, um, that might not seem a big deal for us on the, in the Western world, but I know some people are watching from further than, than uh, uh, the ocean, and they are really uh, relying on addresses, for example, the Chinese people, they really want to have native Chinese addresses. So one address is all you need to access a, a Fragan site. Actually, you also need a player. Fragan sites are not used in your browser. They're used in Fragan's player. Fragan's player is a piece of software, an application that runs 
on your computer, runs on your mobile phone, runs on your tablet. These are the OS's, Windows, Linux, Android, Windows Phone, iOS, Mac OS, that we plan to release on version one. And everything is designed from the beginning to be able to work on other platforms as well. Um, connected watches, smart watches. Connected TVs, smart TVs. Uh, wearable objects. Um, connected jackets, who knows? Everything in the Fragrance technology is made from day one so as to be able to work on every single connected object. Oh, one more thing. This uh, Frogans player uh, is also, I mean, you can work in full safety in the sense that it never collects any information about you, you the user. It never shares that information with anyone else. So it's very safe. It's a, it's a piece of software that comes from OP3, OP3FT and uh, guarantees that your personal information won't be stolen and that your work environment is protected. So, Philippe, we've got uh, an XML-type language, uh, an addressing system. We've got uh, a browser. What you're describing looks very much like a website uh, up until now. What, is, what does a Frogan site looks, look like? W what's specific about it? Do you want to see one? I, I would love to see well, let's, one. Let's see if the next slide shows one. Ah, it doesn't show exactly a Frogan site. This is what we call a slide, all right? And why are we showing a slide at this point? We're showing a slide because Frogan sites are just a set of slides, okay? So here is what we call the home, an example, um, prototype, if you will, of um, the home slide of a Frogan site. And this is a, it's a small piece of, uh, you know, graphics of 320 by 240, but it has some beautiful properties. The first one is you never, ever have to scroll to read a Fragrance slide. It always shows entirely on your, on your screen. Um, because, if it's small, because it's small like this, so it fits exactly on the screen of your iPhone, it, fit, it fits beautifully on your tablet, and also you can call up several instances of a Fragrance site on your desktop. Also, you see you, 320, 240, it's pretty small, on large or high-resolution screens, Frogans players adapt to make it look bigger. So. so you're going to keep us in suspense a little bit longer, apparently, and not show us the sites straight away. But perhaps um, before we do see the sites, uh, you can ex you've just shown us a slide. So that would be the equivalent of a single page. Can you describe what the full site might be structured like? But of course, Stefan, I mean, here is an example of a full site. All right. So, recognize our, our friend here, the home slide. That's always the first one. It's the one that's displayed each time you type the address in Fragrance Player. It goes directly to this slide. All right. Now, you can imagine an unlimited number of slides that are part of the same site and have different f shapes, forms, colors, or anything. So each slide is independent, and you navigate between slides through buttons. Okay, so it's scalable in the sense that you can add as many slides as you want. It's very safe, secure in the sense that the system is designed so as to not allow any script to be to run. Um, uh, it within uh, Frogan's player, any malicious script, for example, and that the information always, always comes from the publisher's server. So there's no surprise as to like a third party um, server sending information through your browser. That is not possible with Frogan's player. Also, last but not least, um, especially when you are in uh, low bandwidth conditions, Frogan's slides are light in a way, if you will, and they're downloaded one by one. So whenever you call up a new slide, uh, Frogans player will call it up, and you only transfer that little piece of information from the server to Frogans player, to your device, thus uh, ensuring that the, uh, the load, uh, download time is very, very short. So it's a very, very smooth navigation process. 
So maybe I'm missing something, but you're showing us lots of different shapes here, and I'm used to having my websites rectangular. Uh, I've never seen them any other shape. Is this, did you uh, hand out your slides to a two-year-old, or is this telling us something that we don't yet know? You're, you're half right. Uh, those were designed by my son, who's five and a half. Um, but the truth is, I'd like to welcome all of you to the world of non-rectangular sites. And uh, the reason of that is when you design a slide, a frog and slide, you can have, you can use any shape, any color, any form whatsoever. Here are a few examples. Uh, they look like cookie, uh, <laughs> cookie cutters, but uh, you can really imagine anything you want. Um, it's a combination of what we call layers. You know, a layer is, uh, for those who are familiar with uh, Photoshop, I know Ben, I know you're a big Photoshop fan. Um, you can combine layers together so as to create forms and uh, appearances that are different. Uh, here in this case, a slide is a combination of layers and the layer itself is built uh, through a combination of text. You can write anything with any uh, font that's embedded in the player. You can uh, use images either in the uh, slide, the description of the slide, or on, on your server. You can use uh, shapes, ge ge geometrical shapes, forms to enter, to enter text, buttons, and also vector paths. So it's pretty much like a whole uh, panoply of design tools that are at your disposal here to create uh, a new experience in that uh, framework called the Frog and Slide. So we're looking at a very dynamic, uh, powerful uh, publish content publishing system. Can you help us understand what the interaction is between the site itself and the entity, the machines that are publishing the content? What's the, we, we understand how a website gets published. How does it work with Frogans? Well, pretty much the same way. Um, can we switch to the next um, minute? All right, so I described a number of um, attributes that are we could call static, um, but it also works in a dynamic way. When, for example, you write in the description of your frog and slide, you can insert, uh, for example, a call for a, a piece of script, uh, either PHP or .NET or uh, Java, and you can have that script run here on the same server that's serving your FDSL code. So this is basically, here is the call to the, the script. The script runs on the server and returns some FDSL code that is being interpreted by uh, Frogan's player. And the result of that very simple uh, workflow here is that you can have the content of a slide as a dynamic content. Right? So you don't have to describe everything from scratch. You can have information updated, you can have, you can f get a feed of info, for example, the weather forecast or um, um, stock exchange quotations inside your fragrance player through this mechanism here. So your PHP code is still valid, you can adapt it to uh, the fragrance technology. That's very powerful. So you've um, been keeping us waiting for a while now, Philippe, not showing us these sites which um, we may be beginning to have doubts that they even exist. But before uh, I let you uh, assuage those doubts, you mentioned earlier on when you were talking uh, a, a few minutes ago about the, the different browsers, um, you mentioned different platforms, different devices. What, uh, how does that work? Because I'm used to uh, going from my PC to my smartphone and having a completely different browsing experience. Uh, is there anything we can do about that? Well, there's something we can do about it um, because one of the big promises of Frogan sites is that they uh, display the exactly the same way on uh, different screens. Um, for example, here we have, see if I have my little laser thing here, all right. So, um, my little Hello World slide here on a desktop, on a mobile, and a tablet. Now, I could talk about this forever, but I could also show you. Want to see it? All right, so let's do a demo. Uh, 